I'm going to show you how to add an image to Smart Notebook. Of course you can add things from the gallery, but sometimes you need something that just isn't there. So to do that, you're going to go to Insert, choose Picture, and from there you can add any image that is in your, on your computer, in your Google Drive, or anything like that. Find the image you want, click Open, and it adds it to your, your page. Now, once you add the image, you have all the same options as every other object in Smart Notebook. You have the Resize tool in the bottom corner, you have a Rotation tool on top, and you also have the drop-down menu that has all of the same options as before. Copy Paste, Clone, Infinite Cloner, Lock, Link, all those kinds of things. But you'll notice in this case, my background is green, and when I add an image, it automatically has this white background in there, which happens quite a bit, especially with clip art that you get from outside sources. Now, to fix that, you're going to click on the drop-down menu, choose Set Image Transparency. From there, you can use your mouse to click on the outside areas, turning them pink. Once you have uh, all of the outside area colored in, choose Set Transparency, and you'll notice that it makes all of those white edges go away. If I notice that I colored a certain area incorrectly, like I colored here and it colored too much of the dog, if I click again, it turns it back to normal. So you can edit that later if you need to. Another great feature of Smart Notebook is you can also either drag files right onto the page. So for example, if you had a picture here, you could just drag it right in and it would show up. You can also, if you're searching for images online, click on a particular image, do either a right click on your mouse or a control click on your keyboard, copy image, and paste it right into the, um, the Smart Notebook file. Now, if you may get this message as well. Um, sometimes if an image is very large, you can um, decide if you want to optimize it or keep the resolution. Um, it really depends on your use. I'm going to keep the resolution in this case because I'm going to make it much smaller anyway. Um, so I'm going to just resize this and drag it where I need it to go. Again, with this image too, I can go and set the transparency. Now you'll notice on this one, because the color of the dog and the background are very, very similar, this one's gonna be hard to get a good, clear image. And when I click Set Transparency, it's actually gonna hide part of the dog. So depending on your needs, the image transparency may be a good choice or it may not.